previously on Backstage. This year, Keaton's hosting The Cam Does. Being student council president is a grueling job. I've been to The Cam Does. Everybody better bring their A-game. I can give you notes on your jumps if you want. Who does this guy think he is? This is TM not okay, Jenna. I honestly was just trying to fix things. I honestly can't be friends with a liar. Will you, Julie Mislani, let me take you out? I'd love that. I almost kissed Julie. I think Miles and I just broke up. I've been focusing on all the wrong things lately. I've lost track of my music, of who I am. I need more. Maybe this is the way it's supposed to be. I still can't believe you scored us free hot dogs. I still can't believe the moves you busted in the seventh inning stretch. You wish you had those moves. <laughs> oh, and that cupcake shop on the way home, so good. How many did you eat again? Only one, plus two. Hey, Cake Thief, remember? How could I forget? Oh, that reminds me. Now you'll be ready for our next game. <laughs> so, there's the next game. Unless you can't handle my moves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going on a second date. Congratulations. It's not like I won a Grammy. You haven't been on a second date since... You can say her name. I haven't been on a second date since Aaliyah. It's fine. I'm fine. All right. Maybe he really is fine. How many times? Yo. Yo? <laughs> yeah, that boy is totally fine. You're choosing a vice president based on how well they can play an instrument. Or sing. Or dance. Or act. Or handle responsibility, balance a budget. Anyone can make themselves sound good in an interview. But performing is a window into the soul. I think that's the eyes. Fine. Make fun. But I'll be spending hours and hours with this person. I'll know the one when I see them. Next. Hello, my name is George, and today I will be demonstrating the art of illusion. Magic? Sorry, sweetie. These auditions are for serious candidates only. That means you can leave. But I, I haven't even... Next. That is exactly why I need auditions. Screen out the strange ones. Next. Hi, I'm Mindy Dobson. I'm a freshman and a prima. Excellent. Show me what you got. Beckett, where was your spot during that last tour? I need to see focus. Here. 
Why didn't she have any notes for me? She always has notes for me. Way to take that bull by the horns. Guess I was a 10 out of 10. Guess he's still not talking to me. Yeah, you were great. That last jump you did, insane height. I was pretty great, wasn't I? Dancers, eyes front. I've decided to mentor two students, one male and one female, to compete in a duet at the Camdas. The importance of this opportunity cannot be understated. I got this. The pair I've decided to coach are Carly and Sasha. Or Carly and Beckett. Mr. Roy and Mr. Bradstreet, you will both get studio time to rehearse with Miss Cato. Be ready to perform for me at the end of the day. To the corner. We're finishing with Grand Allegro. Just can't get enough of me. Huh. You need to win this. If I have to spend one more minute with that guy, I will literally claw my eyes out. No pressure. No problem. Prince Charming and Cinderella will be reunited once more. This girl is talented, but could I be in a room with her for hours, laughing at inside jokes, eating pizza into the wee hours of the morning? Socks and sandals. Next. No one needs to know. Is this the vice press auditions? You've come to the right place. Great kicks. Are those Adidas or? You're unbelievable. Thanks. I get that a lot. You totally humiliated my brother this morning. He came to me crying because you rejected him. George, brown hair, freshman. The magician. Illusionist. Which you would know if you gave him a chance. He wasn't the right fit for the job. It's nothing personal. Maybe not to you. But George was up all night perfecting that routine. This is Keaton. Rejection is a part of life. He needs to learn eventually. Do you have a sibling? I do. Hmm. So how would you feel if someone treated your brother... Sister. ...the way you treated George? I'm so sorry. Really, I am. What can I do to make it up to you? Not me. My brother. Apologize to George. Sorry, my bad. Wrong verse. Can we go again? <sighs> okay, but just the two of you. How many times can I let go? I'm gonna feel it in my bones. How can you say? Hold it. Okay, what is going on, you guys? It's like you're complete strangers. It kind of feels like we are from the top, but this time I want you to listen to each other. Miles. How many times can I let go? I'm gonna feel it. Better, Miles, but look at Aaliyah, connect with her. It's like she's doing this on purpose. She's so doing this on purpose. I you more than this. How many times, how many times, how many times? This is 
too much. And we say what we want and we get what we get of our own device. You ain't no prize. Don't give me those eyes. I knew you had it in you. All right, take five. Now, Bianca, hang back. I want to go over your harmonies. Hey, you. So I was thinking salsa lessons for our next day. We could both pick up on some new moves. Forget it. Promise it won't be fun. Are you okay? No. Yeah. I'm fine. It's just this. It's not gonna work. I'm sorry, I can't. Take a break. We've already gone 20 minutes into Beckett's practice time. Exactly. Mr. Too Cool for School could show any minute now. We need to take advantage. I really don't think he's gonna show. I can't believe he skipped. Who skipped? Miss Caddo, Mr. Roy, I need a moment alone with Mr. Bradstreet. Sir, does Keaton have a magic class? I wish. It'd make the stack of paperwork disappear. Uh -huh. find you. Listen, I'm so sorry. I pick a card. I'm sorry. Pick a card. Memorize it. The Queen of Hearts. What else? Listen, George, the way I treated you, there was no excuse for it. That's correct. Your brother told me how talented you are. He seems like an amazing brother. That's also correct. You know, I have a sister too. I have no way of knowing if that's correct or not. My point is, I hope you'll accept my apology. I'm sorry. Is this your card? What the? That's incredible. I know. Wait, George. Could you tell your brother I didn't catch his name? Aiden. Aiden. Right. He's in drama. A leading man. He also plays rugby, for fun. And an athlete. Could you tell Aiden that you and I had this talk? Sure. You know, Aiden helped me practice my routine last night. He sounds like an incredible brother. He is. He's happy when I'm happy. And right now, there's only one thing that'll make me happy. If you still want to be my VP, the job's yours. I accept. So. About your brother. Wait, what just happened? What could you possibly have been thinking? This is happening far too often. Did you see Hellsville's face? I think I just peed my pants a little. <laughs> Did you see Beckett's face? I think he just beat his pants a little. I wish we could hear what's happening in there. Maybe we can. You have zero commitment to your class. No commitment. Zero respect for authority. Not no respect for authority. Utter. utter lack of pokers. Focus. Utter lack of focus. That's it. Scooch. Double scooch. And a little help. This duet is totally ours. The one? 
The one what? Shh. I need you to show me that you deserve to win. She needs Beckett to win? That's not what she's saying. Sasha is good. See? Sasha's good. Sounds like she's saying only Beckett has what it takes to win. Who knows what she's saying? We're only hearing bits and pieces. Yeah, I mean, Hell's Rule wouldn't ask you to audition if she didn't think you could win. What's going on now? Shh, I can't hear. What are you doing? What did he say? I... Oops. I think I just made the biggest mistake. Magic hit? Illusionist. I'm trying. This is a disaster. What was I thinking? Just tell George you made a mistake. I can't. Aiden would hate me. Aiden? I chose George to be my vice president to impress his brother. Ah, Aiden. <laughs> what were you thinking? I don't know. There's something about this guy. He's cute. He's an actor slash athlete. I think I like you, Kit. Seriously, Scarly. Okay, then. But it's useless. I made the worst first impression. It can't be that bad. I just don't want him to think of me as the girl who made his little brother cry. He won't. But I am the girl stuck with a magician as my vice president. Illusionist. You wanted to see my brother? Uh, yeah, but... Right this way. So are you okay? It's okay if you're not. Aaliyah broke up with you. I'm aware, thanks. Are you? Because breakups hurt, unless you're a robot, and even robots hurt. I played one on TV. People break up, life goes on. Not if you don't deal. This is me, dealing. Okay, I get it. You're distracting yourself. That song with Aaliyah, it was intense. If Jax and I broke up, knock on wood, I would not want to sit across from him and make beautiful music and be reminded of everything that was great about us. But if you keep avoiding your feelings, you're going to mess up the next great thing that comes along. I think I already did. Thanks, Dr. Phil. Just, you don't have to deal with this alone. I have two choices. I can either give up, or I can dance for my life. May the best man win. Thanks, I will. Who does this guy think he is? I don't care what Hellsbeal said or didn't say. There is no way he can outdance me with zero practice. He's delusional. Carly and Beckett, you're up. You better know what you're doing. Wow, he's strong. But you're way better. All right. Mr. Roy.
Which, which one do you want to see? Is that one where the trailer came out? Hey, uh, is it okay if I... I don't know. Dr. Phil has lots of patients to see. But I can always make time for you. Bring it in, buddy. I had this great new idea for student council. It involves goats. Goats? Totes. Please let this be worth it. This girl is gullible. Scarlet, hey. He knows my name. So worth it. I have to say, I was surprised when George told me you made him VP. I wanted to say thank you. It means a lot to the both of us. No, welcome. I mean, your problem. I, <laughs> I can't wait to work with him. There she is. Scarlet, this is Cassandra, Aiden's girlfriend. Hey, ready to go? See you at our next meeting. Friends. Whoa, can you believe George tried to trick Scarlet like that? So now she's stuck with a vice president she doesn't like and with a crush on someone who has a girlfriend. Yikes. And who do you think Miles will end up choosing? I get the feeling it won't be an easy decision. If you hop over to the Disney Channel app now, then you can take a sneak peek at next week's episode, Take Notes, or stick with us here for Cloud9.